This is a WeTransfer tutorial, a tool you can use to send large files online. Hey, it's Ozzy here from thecallmehoz.com where I talk about the tools that I'm using to generate income online as a solopreneur. And in this channel, I share tutorials and all the great tools that I keep finding. So if this helps you in any way, please subscribe and I'll keep you posted. Okay, so this video is about one of my favorite tools. It's called WeTransfer and I've been using this for many years, especially when I was working as a freelancer. I was creating websites for clients and I had to share files with them and vice versa. I needed files, images from those clients when I was building those websites. So I would always ask them to use this tool instead of sending large files on email. You know how ridiculous that is. Now you can also use things like Dropbox and Google Drive to share files, but the difference is with this tool, you get a download receipt. So you know exactly when the customer or whoever you sent the files to downloaded them. And that's what makes this tool so cool. When I wanted to share files with my clients, important files such as web hosting agreements and other important documents, you know, when I used to send them by email, a lot of times they would pretend that they never got that email, uh, usually when things went wrong. Um, but yeah, with this tool, you send the file and the minute they download it, you have that receipt. Now you can use WeTransfer for free for up to two gig. Okay, so if you have files below two gig in size, then this is good for you. However, if you have more files, that overall take up more than two gig. I'll share with you what I do. It's a quick workaround. It's very easy so that you can carry on using this tool. Okay, so let's get into how to use the tool. First thing I want to do is do a search for WeTransfer. You can go directly to the website, which is wetransfer.com. And this is the website. Needless to say, this is a secure system. So it's a cool tool to use when you're sending something important to anybody. Now, you don't need to log in or sign up. You can just use it as is. So just agree to the terms. One quick thing is when you use the tool, you'll probably see a completely different background. Usually when I use this tool, the backgrounds are changing all the time. It's like watching a slideshow. In fact, just as I said that, you can see what's happening. <laughs> okay, right. So let's get on to using the tool. This here is all you need to do this. So the first thing you see is you type in the email of who you're sending the file or the files to. Then you type in your email and a quick message, which is optional. So let me do this now. I'm going to type an email. It's one of my email addresses. And then I'm going to type in my email address. And then the message is going to be here is the file. And last but not least is adding your file. That's actually the first step, but for some reason I always do this last. So just click on the plus sign here where it says add your files. I'm going to go to this image that I've downloaded. And now I'm going to click transfer. Now one extra step that they do these days that they didn't used to do is this verify your email. So the email that you're sending the files from will get a code from WeTransfer. You just copy the code, pop it in here and verify that this is legit. So here I am in my email and this is the code that they sent me. So let's copy that. Let's pop it in here and verify. Okay, so this is now transferring the file. It's all done. And you'll notice here that this expires in one week. So what happens is the recipient receives an email with a link letting them know that there's a file waiting for them from you. If they don't do anything for one week, then that link will expire. Now let me show you what that actually looks like. So here in my email, you can see that I have an email from WeTransfer that says your files were successfully sent to and the email address I sent them to. So this is my receipt that the intended recipient did actually get that email. Okay, so the next email that I want to show you is the email that the client or the recipient receives. And that's what this looks like. It's from WeTransfer and it says the email address that I used to send this from. 
send two files via WeTransfer. What I do, by the way, is when I use this system, I first email the client and let them know that I'm sending files to them via WeTransfer. That way, when they see an email in their inbox from WeTransfer, they don't think, who's this? Is it spam? Alternatively, you can use that message box in WeTransfer when you send the file to let the client know what this email actually is. Okay, so this is what the email that the recipient gets looks like. It tells them how many items there are in there and that there is an expiry date. Here's the message that I typed in. Here's the file. And this is what I could say, hey, this is the file that we talked about. And here's the button, get your files. So I'm gonna click on that and look what happens. This takes me back to the WeTransfer site, where of course the background is now completely different. And you'll see here on the left, it says ready when you are. Here's my message again. Okay, so it helps to reiterate what these files are. That way the recipient doesn't think that this is some kind of scam. And here's the name of the file and the download button. That's downloaded the file. Let's open it up. And there you go. It's a striking photograph. I don't collect pictures of trains, by the way, if that's what you're thinking. I just downloaded a random image and it happened to be a train, but it is a nice picture. And I do happen to like trains, but not enough to take pictures of them. Although there's nothing wrong with that. Okay, so now I want to show you what happens in your inbox once the client downloads the file. So let's pop over to my inbox again. And here you can see an email that says the recipient downloaded your transfer. And here in the body of the email, you can see that it says, once again, the recipient downloaded your files. There's also a download link in case you need to visit that file for whatever reason. It's just convenient. And there's also the name of the file. Of course, if you send multiple files, then all the file names would be here, as well as your message. That way you've got a full record all in one email. And the important thing, of course, is that you have a timestamp of exactly when this happened. So this is a super cool tool. And as I say, you can use it for free for up to two gig. Now, as I said at the beginning, I'll share with you what I do when I have a lot of files that exceed two gig. It's pretty simple and straightforward, really. You just separate those files, maybe zip them into different zips, and then just upload them to WeTransfer using as many goes as you need. There isn't a limit that I know of for using WeTransfer for free on the two gig as many times as you want. At least I've never hit any limit. So if you have a few files, just send one and then another one and then another one until you're done. And you can see why this is one of my favorite all time tools. On that note, remember to subscribe to the channel. That way you stay in the loop and you get to find out all these great tools. In the meantime, take it easy and I shall see you in the next video.